281 days, I was a reigning, defending WWE champion. For 150 days, I was WWE champion. Now Zeth finds himself in the best spot of all. He has finally held the title longer than two weeks. Congratulations. But, as some of Zeth's fans have found out recently, we've been interacting and we've been trash talking and, well, we've put hype. But you see, there comes a time when we all have to back it up. And this is part three of my comeback. Because I said it would be in three parts. I assumed it would be, and it still is. But for all the pomp and all the circumstance in the world, is it really needed? I mean, is it? I mean, sure, Zeth Rollins may claim to be the best in the world, and you know what? He has every right to. He is the current reigning, defending, undisputed WWE Champion, and has been for a while now. But in this match, he is nothing. He shouldn't lay claim to anything. As a matter of fact, he should be scared. He should be afraid. And he should be training. He should be going to his local gym and practicing. He should be going to his local gym and weightlifting. He should be going to his local gym and running. He should be going to his local gym to prepare for the fight of his life. Because he should know better than anybody that I am the most dangerous man alive. And when I set my sights on a goal, there ain't nobody who can touch me. I prove night in and night out why I am the best in the world. And nobody tells me otherwise. When I step in a ring, when I step in the circle, or the squared circle of which I fight in, Ain't nobody gonna tell me otherwise. I have been there with the biggest. I've been in there with the baddest. I've been in there with the toughest. And I've survived them all. And Zeth, I've beaten you before. Sure, those were predicting battles. And yeah, you won the last wrestling match. But you know what? You know what, Zeth? You haven't gone through the hell I've been through. As a matter of fact probably haven't gone through the heaven I've been to. I've been on top, swimming with sharks, while you just go live with live streams. While I look to better myself in the career path that I want to take, you seem to be doing the complete opposite. And Zeth, I want you to know, I want you to know personally, I want you to watch this video, I want you to look at me in my eyes, and ask you, what do you see? What you should be seeing is a man who is determined beat you one-on-one -on -one and prove everything I've said. There ain't a shadow of a doubt, Seth. You are one tough hombre. You've beaten me before. You've beaten Jacob before. You've beaten us all. But I've beaten you. 
and you cannot underestimate me like I did before. I almost feel sorry for you because you you have to face me and any normal man wouldn't and shouldn't have to be quaking in their boots but you of all people should you put me in a nightmare the problem is I just woke up and I realized who put me there so Zeth Good luck. I hear luck is for losers, but good luck. Because luck is going to be what you need to survive. Luck is going to be what you need to even stand a chance if you have one at all. I'm going to hurt you. I'm going to beat you up. I'm going to turn you inside out. Your world is going to be turned upside down. And when I'm finished with you, nobody will ever... Doubt me again. Win, lose, or draw, the best man takes it all. The winner shall stand tall. And when you see the straight edge hero with his hand raised at the end in victory, you will know why I am the GOAT, why I am the elite, why I am. The best in the world. Ever since I was 10 years old, this is all I ever wanted to do. Since I was 10 years old, all I ever wanted to do was get inside a ring and wrestle. And sure, we don't have an actual ring, but we have a mat which works fine for me and it worked for you before. So on May 25th, I want you to watch yourself. And death. Just want to apologize. I just want to apologize for what I'm gonna do to you on the on May twenty fifth. I want to apologize for every GTS. I want to apologize for every blow, every strike, every DDT, every suplex. Every clothesline, every springboard, every suicide dive, every knife's edge, every move I hit you with, I'm going to apologize for. Because I hit it with the intent to hurt. Not for the intent to entertain. And make no mistake about it. I'll prove why I'm the best. And when the audience realizes who truly is the best, they will stand, they will applaud, all the hard work that went into it. The winner takes it all. I walk the walk. Because there are very few men like me who can walk the walk. Who can talk the talk. Excuse me. Who can talk the talk and walk the walk. I back it up every single night. Now, if you excuse me, I've got some training to do.